All right, so in keeping up with um, showing all my mistakes, one big mistake that I made while making this beer was um, I didn't use a hot bag. Um, I didn't use one while I fermented. Um, sorry, I didn't use one during my boil. And I also didn't use one um, when I dry hopped. So that's a huge lesson. Normally this, you know, I'd be bottling it wouldn't be a huge issue. Um, also, accidentally sucked up quite a bit of the hop particle and troop when I was um, transferring over to the keg. So um, it's later in the day from the last video. Um, so this will be mistakes part two. Uh, I'd gotten everything hooked up and uh, pulled on my tap handle and nothing was happening. So the carbonation actually went really well, um, but had an issue obviously. So I've gone through, done a few things, and I'm just going to show what I'm doing now. Um, I've set the pressure up on the, let's see if you can see that, on the regulator to oh, just above 30. I was going to just do 30. Let's lower that a little bit. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. We'll lower that a bit. And um, hooking the gas line to the out to unclog the pipe in here now. Um, and then running through some beer at 30 PSI, which is massive. That's way too big for a serving temperature, but um, since I got so much of that hot particle, I don't know if this is going to focus or not, but um, so I'll just show you guys what I'm doing real quick. So we'll get this hooked back up. I'm keeping everything in a big old thing of star sand here. Um, so we're up to 30 PSI. Hook this up to our gas line. Should be able to hear that going in. And we'll hook up our beer line. Everything's wet because I've been spraying the crap out of everything with star sand. So then what I do is I come over here. I've got this bottle from Hallertal, a local brewery here. Stick this over the edge. I don't know if I'm going to be able to really do this one-handed. Stick this over the edge with a towel on it. And um, so I just and then give it a good pull, and you'll see the sludge come down there. I'm trying to do all this one-handed. So, yeah, that's at 30 PSI, and that's the kind of pour I'm getting. Um, which tells you how fast this is clogging and how badly it's clogging. So let that run. Pull it off. You can see the Let's see if it'll focus on it. Anyways, that's just full of hop sludge. Hop sediment. Let's see if I can make this focus. I guess I can. That's all right. Anyways, that's just full of hop sediment. So I'm going to take the beer line back off, back into the bucket here. And I'm wasting a crap ton of CO2 doing this, but unhook the CO2, bleed it a little bit. And then you should be able to hear this. So that's unclogging that tube, and then I just repeat the process. So, um, so yeah, this is a second mistake, stupid mistake. I'm really kicking myself in the ass for it. Um, lesson learned. Hopefully, we don't lose too much beer having to do this. Um, hopefully, we don't lose too much CO2. I mean, it could be an expensive mistake. So, that's what I'm doing, and uh, hopefully, we'll get this cleared out. So, until next time, drink good beer. And just quickly, one other thing I forgot to mention, um, I'm pulling the tube completely out, uh, spraying the crap out of everything and making sure the tube is getting cleared out as well. So um, doing that between, let's see if I can get, I took a couple photos of the hop sludge on the hop particulates in case, um, in case I can't get this to focus. Which, man, it's being a pain in the ass.
Well, there at least be photos on the 